Right, there we go. Hello! Hello, Gigu! I want to kill Pink for some reason. And Toma's in this game. Is he gonna. Am I gonna go Ballistus? Am I gonna get a Tinker? Could do. Part of me wants to. Waiting on the Mr. Level 38. He's gonna disconnect straight away. Don't know how you get that level, to be honest, without playing non stop. Unless you just have Warcraft free searching 24 7. And whenever it finds a game, play it. Pretty much, I guess that's probably the only way. But you'd have to make sure that whatever you're doing is something you could drop when that game did turn up. But I'd say it'd be pretty unlucky for Mr. Level 38 to disconnect because obviously he's that high, so it means he's played a lot of games. And I've got him dead, unfortunately. But that's the way that cookie crumbles. I bow mm. to your will. Where are we? My face what are we doing? I don't know. Some sort of. Undead thing. I guess it's got to be fiends, isn't it? Really, I can't go ghouls on this. Can't. I'd be stupid to go ghouls. I mean, really, where go ghouls? Literally, they creep this and then they creep this, and that's it. They're done. That's it. You're done with ghouls. You go onto the red creep. You can do it. Not easy. Hang on, there. <laughs> better, before I get into a rant, I better continue my build order. I'm so bad at that sort of thing. I just end up realizing, oh, I should have built something, you know, a while ago. They could do this spot, but then there's the poison mobs. So if you have a multitude of ghouls, which you will do, they're all going to get poisoned and they're all going to get brought down to about one HP within no time. So when are ghouls good? Not often. Not often. Let's see. Well, looks like a bit of an undead party, two of us at least. Human, that's a good thing. Oh, two humans, that's good. I like that. Hmm, I'm in a very safe spot. The safest spot, I think, to be honest, on this map. In this angle and all of that, I think this is the safest bit. Hackers. I don't know who the hackers is. Possibly you. Maybe me. I don't know. A lot of people chatting away, though. Let's see. More gold is Continue that build order. Pink equals map pack. Anyone know it? Well, I didn't know that, but uh, I wouldn't be surprised. Map packs cropping up every game, and it's not just me who's accusing everyone. Oh look, there's a ghoul. You want to get onto that uh, graveyard? That'd be nice. Uh, d -d let's get a shot. I wouldn't mind one of those. I gladly obey. It's got to be Death Knight first. Again, I was looking at it, I was thinking, mm, I'll go somewhere else. Can't really afford to be too stupid My at this level. Beam. And then I'll see what I break into. But it can't be too complex either. He's on the outside, so... I'm in a good spot to go Frostworms, but I'm not that interested in going Frostworms. If it leads up to that point, and I've got all the upgrades for Fiends, and uh, I've got all the money in the world, then yeah. I might throw in a couple of Frostworms, you never know. I tried to go cast this last game. That was a bad idea. I should have just gone Mass Fiends, to be honest. Because that way I probably wouldn't have died so easy. I would have had a much better time, but I was fighting versus two people the majority of the time. We were about two to three Fiends, because I was trying to go cast this. Trying to do something different. No, Mr. Undead. You will not divert from DK Fiends Leech. Leech? I always love this. Leech. And Frostworms. My has right, well, Mr. Green is a priestess of the moon, so good for him, I guess. He's going for the harass. Stormbolt, 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 heading his way. Although he's going to have the power of the knight on his side. Gigao! Well, there's no point really trying to expand here, at least not at this point, at this time. So, I think a tech. I think a tech might be the logical step. Pink is king. Lots of little skellies to get on, get in on that action. He's even got militia coming in. How cute. We should have more than enough. Uh, no, that's one of mine. <laughs> I saw something coming over there. Green is back again on the prowl. Being annoying. 
Tomer's done a nice little dust of appearance there. He's ready for this harass. He's ready for this kind of harass. I guess I'll take that since yeah. Pink hasn't reacted. But uh, I don't know if he wants it on there. I should go down really because he's getting harassed. So I'll give him a bit of a hand. I might go a couple more goals whilst I'm still sort of low on the food. Oh, they are there. It's all kicking off. Oh, no, no, no. We're all coming in on this. We all want a pace. He's trying to get the demon hunter. That was a beautiful surround. It wasn't quite a perfect surround, but it wasn't bad either. <laughs> Look at this. I haven't got enough to surround him with, but uh, I just try to really irritate him at best. Should easily get this theme. Uh, this. I'm trying to think of the name of the unit. Hunt. There we go. Stormbolts going off. It sickens me. The imbalance. That is Stormbolts. One more coil would have done the trick. I think we might have this if we just push. Because they've lost a lot of units. It looks like it makes sense to push and hard. There's a lot more hunts coming out though for green. So if we do actually cripple this, which we probably won't. Because they'll probably defend it in time. I assume they're going to defend it. They need to start doing that like now. Because if we kill these two, he's essentially owned. Because this is his build. He's not teched. He's specifically tried to go hard on hunts here. And already he's been sort of deflected a little bit. Because he's only got one Ancient of War to start spamming out those hunts. Oh, they're TPing him back a bit. I think back off just a little bit. Okay, that's a full TP from Pink, so he's not interested in the fight. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, run, okay. Fall back, fall back. And there's no storm bolts from the enemy team. No, that's good, that's good. Part of me wants to go into Purple's base, because I know he's going to get hit next. So I will go that way. And I'm going to get a little tower at my base as well, just in case they want to come to me. And I'm going to get web first, and then a bit of anti-air afterwards. Well, I said, I'm going to get borrow. I keep getting my words wrong. I want borrow first. But yeah, the reason why I head into this base is because if I go to my own base, I'm only going to have to use my TP. And logically, they might not, but they're probably going to harass or attack full on. Because they've got a big army here. They want to go for this. So we've just got to head them off. And that would be a good time to build towers, maybe. So at least get one. But I need to wait so they don't focus it. See what happens with that tower. But I'll get a tower myself. At least an arcane tower. One arcane tower would be nice. Better than nothing. Obviously focus the fiends here. I've... Why do I keep calling fiends? Hunts! The hunts! Because I'm doing so much damage and this looks like a pretty straightforward win for us to be honest. There's good play there by everyone involved on the team. Good creeping, good handling of the harass from Toma and a good little bit of um, push there. Obviously we weren't going to kill him but we did good damage, crippling damage to be honest to Green and yeah I mean when they came at us there wasn't much they could do. We had the strength. I wasn't worried. It, you know, there's times where I'm worried and I think the enemy are coming and I genuinely, I can usually handle a lot of situations, but there's points where I think this is like, I don't even know how I can't lose this. But that was one of those ones where you can see them coming in as long as the rest of my team sort of TP in, we should have that. We're in a nice little um, hold there, hold position, where we're all bottlenecked and all of their huntresses and units such as that can't really capitalize because they can't surround our units. Huntresses are amazing if you can surround the enemy. If you can't, they just get all clunky and block each other and pff, the DPS damage per second is pretty darn low. So I was the suckiest player on my team there. The lowest score. Mr. Hacker apparently was the top score. Let's have a look at the units. I didn't do too bad actually. I didn't feel like I built much but apparently I had a quite large army. But I felt I kept it quite low key. Ah, gold mine. Did I not go into the game for ages there? No, I was there, wasn't I, when it was loading? So why am I down on gold? Huh. Maybe I didn't build an acolyte. Is it one of those games where I had like four acolytes the whole game or something? I'll tell you what, that does happen.
and that's bad. I apologise for any of those games. But, uh, you know, I'm busy commentating and all of that. I miss out on things. If you want me to play super, super serious, then I would literally have to not talk at all. That's when I'm using all my concentration. Otherwise, if I'm yapping away, then I'm going to make mistakes. So don't try and pick up on every little item that I don't pick up or this that I didn't do or that that I didn't do because I'm covering a lot that isn't necessarily playing the game. <laughs> Which isn't good for my allies, but it worked there. It worked there. So thanks for watching. This has been Witty. Please subscribe, like, and comment. And I've broken the curse now. Because Tomas won a game that I've been in. And I didn't TK him this time either. So I'm not sure what's going to happen from here on out. We'll have to see.